right, so starting a video a little different today. I'm actually sitting in the PT Cruiser. I know a bunch of people hate them. Uh, if you don't hate them, you gotta love them. Uh -oh. This is the first car, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, but been having some plans for it lately, and I think this is gonna be next year's build. So I'm gonna start doing my homework, doing a bunch of research on it. But uh, I am planning on going a little crazy with this one. Um, go over here in a second. See, so I have the hoods up on everything. So pretty much everything in the collection, except for the PT, is LS slash Vortec base. So the 5.3 Silverado, big LS3, 6.2 in the Camaro. Uh, this is why I say Vortex slash LS. The Blazer, 4.3 liter Vortex. Little V6. Obviously the 5.3 in the Elko. And the 4.8 in the Monty. So everything's LS based except for the PT. Um, and the bike so did a little rough estimate it's about 2,000 horsepower for the whole collection I know some people have that in one car not this guy um, but I did do the 2.4 liter swap in here and this amount of work that still needs to be done to it uh, I'm like nah let's let's do something different so uh, I think next year I'm gonna start there's a couple of them floating around, like Hemi swapped, rear wheel drive conversions. I think there's some small block Chevy, um, or not some, I think there's one that's like a drag car, um, but converted to rear wheel drive. But I think, I think I'm gonna build a chassis for it, do a chassis swap, rear wheel drive conversion. And I've seen Hemi swapped ones, I have yet to see an LS swapped one. So, with everything else being LS, I think I'm gonna go go for it. Try to do the LS swap and the PT. So I've been doing a little bit of homework on chassis, rear ends, front suspension, all that. And the latest one's this green one with like the copper wheels and everything. And been reading up on them. I think one of them has like a C4 front suspension. And I'm not sure about the rear, but it's obviously a chassis. And then that newest one, I think it's a full chassis. Um, I think four to rear end, four link suspension, and then a Mustang two front suspension or front setup. So I think that's the route I'm gonna go with it. Um, get the chassis, Mustang two front suspension, um, and then probably just a. 8.8 .8 rear end this one i won't do anything crazy with it um as far as power but it would be nice just to get the v8 in here convert it to rear wheel drive and just just make it fun it's already a well i would say when it was stock it's a fun little car but just to have that fun a little wow factor to it like hey this this one's different um but yeah that's the plan on this one you know those means when you pull out the tape measure, start measuring the engine bay and everything. Um, from what I hear, you have to push the firewall back a little bit. Obviously, you'd have to build a trans tunnel and figure some stuff out. But yeah, this one might be this one might be my 6.0. <laughs> Got everything but a 6.0. I know some people are going to say like the 7.1 or another 8.1 and all the big LS based motors um, I'm doing the common stuff <laughs> so we'll see about this one but yeah just want to go over that before I started messing around on the Elko today I know I know I need to get back on the Monty July 13th is going to pop up a lot quicker than I think but I'm going to get back to it um, pretty much the last few weeks has been about the Elko getting this all situated the last thing I need to do to this one is that tail light socket. So um, I don't believe I have 
tail lights because this one is cut. So I think if I hook this one up, they will both work. Or I might have one. Um, but I need to get that swapped out. So this one's going to be fairly simple. Um, just splice the wires in, put the bulb in, and plug it into place. So I don't think I'm going to show you guys that. But I just wanted to go over the plans for the PT. I know I've mentioned it in the past. And I think just doing more research on it and everything. I think I'm going to get everything ready and it's going to be the build for next year. So, should be fun. Um, another green one, which is the latest Hemi Swap one. I think they kept the all stock interior. And then I think they did a, not a wide body, but they added like some ground effects to it and everything. Which this one, I'll probably just keep it all stock I'll repaint the hood because that one didn't come out too good but I like the white on there originally was pearl champagne but with the setup and everything I'll probably have to go with the different uh, bolt pattern for the wheels so probably be looking at new wheels and who knows but yeah this is one let's just say one of the builds for uh, next year who knows, might pop up with another G-Body. Might get some other people's G-Bodies and LS swap them. Um, been talking to a couple people about it, so we'll see. Maybe that could fund this build. Um, who knows, but have some buddies. They said they're on board to help me out with it. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, let me get back to the Elko and then Probably this weekend, or my weekend, I'll get back to the Monty. Um, this one, pretty much just waiting on the gauge cluster to get that in. Put the interior back together. Uh, hook up the vacuum line for the brakes. Adjust the transmission. And then just pretty much check everything. Give it some more shakedown runs here and there. And She's almost ready. Like I said, not a show car. I tell everybody, the body work is pretty bad on here. I rushed it. Um, like I said, it's still still nice enough to get out. A little 10 foot, 15, maybe 50 foot paint job. Um, but yeah, I will get back to the money. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are waiting for that content. But I just want to give you guys a little update. I'm really not doing anything today. Or show anything. Just want to go over the plans for the PT. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I've been the last couple of days really. I've been just doing a bunch of research, watching a bunch of videos on how to do stuff. I have one buddy. He said he has a chassis table. Um, my powder coater or slash welder. He said he's down to do a chassis, and just got to get the materials, and get everything lined up. And if I could get it in a rolling chassis, um, like I said, take it to my buddies or whatever, get a rolling chassis and then get it back to the house, I think the motor swap and everything I could do. Um, but at least the chassis stuff, I'd want another set of hands on it, somebody that's done it before. But it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, if I, if I get it in a rolling chassis, leave it outside, I'll definitely have to put the winch in the floor so I can move it back and forth. But um, we got some plans coming. All right, that's a big plan for next year. Um, but yeah, that's it. Let me knock the Elko out and call it a day. All right, so I guess I'll show you guys a little bit on this video, just replacing that. Got a little bit of Penny LS1 in the background. Um, so it might be a little dark. You guys see the problem? A yellow wire for the tail lights. That one's cut. I believe that side is good. But I know on the Monty, the grounds were all integrated. So I'm not sure if these are integrated also or not. But since that's not working, I need to go ahead and swap that out. So it should be fairly easy. Just. Take that out. Cut the 
brown and the black wire. Since the yellow one's already cut, I need to cut that one. I have no idea how this clip got back there. It should be on the door. Um, but yeah, just and cut this too. Just a piece of tape. Yeah, so I just cut all three of these. Clamp the new one on there. Swap the bulb out. Call it good. Need, really need to get these secured. So I'm not sure why there was trailer wiring. I'm not seeing any spot for a hitch or something. So um, yeah, probably just secure those to the bumper itself. And then hopefully we have tail lights and then once this gets swapped out, I know this won't be released on Memorial Day. That's today. Um, well, no, it's tomorrow. So um, what I'm thinking, I might take this into work, depending on how traffic's looking when I leave for work in the morning. If it's looking pretty good, I might take it. If it looks like stop and go traffic. It's staying at home. Should have took it in today, being Sunday. Um, but, you know, stuff happens. Um, so, yeah, let me get these swapped out. And I'm guessing there's more lights. Yeah, so um, check the reverse lights and everything. I'm pretty sure I don't have reverse lights because after the manual swap, some wiring on there didn't get hooked up like a neutral safety switch or reverse so um yeah but as long as that brake light should be good if i'm backing up to get out of the way um but yeah let me get this figured out i have a ground wire just uh hanging there so i'll take that one off and uh we'll get to it but you know, just cut that, cut those, those quick solder connectors. I'm a fan of them. Um, I know some people, like I said, everybody has an opinion on them, but they're nice and easy. Uh, so, yeah, get the heat gun out and get to it. So, I'm not going to show you guys this part. I've showed you it plenty of times, but just want to give a rundown on what I was doing. Um, but, yeah, started looking at the money a little bit and... We'll get back to it tomorrow. Yeah, my tomorrow's my Friday, so I'll get back to it after work tomorrow, and then um, try to figure out some stuff this weekend and get to it. But like I always say, if there's something I haven't done yet that you guys want to see, just let me know. Hit me up in the comments or hit me up on in, or Instagram. If there's something I have done, it's probably a video on it. So just go back in the playlist and check it out. Yep, so just check the video. I had brake lights on both of them. I think one of the bulbs are out on the outside because there's two here and only one was lighting up on that side. So I have to look into that, but as long as I have brake lights on both sides, I feel good with it. But I have to enjoy my sunset and call it a night.